The ringleader, John Kenny Collins, 75. His mate says he's one bat thick, a real Arthur Daly character. He acted as a lookout. Apparently a dog lover, Collins was described during the trial as a nice geezer by neighbours. Terry Perkins, 67, one of the leaders of the gang. Perkins has a track record, particularly over an Easter bank holiday. He was found guilty of robbing vaults at Securicor in East London in 1983. He served 22 years. Daniel Denny Jones, 60, a proper Walter Mitty character. Jones was obsessed with crime, a total eccentric who would apparently go to bed dressed in his mother's dressing gown, wearing a fez hat. He buried the jewellery in the cemetery plot of two relatives. Brian Reader, aka the governor, 76. He used his bus pass to get to the scene. Reader is notorious, convicted in 1983 for his part in the £26 million armed raid at Brinks Matt near Heath Row. It was described at the time as the crime of the century. Hugh Huey Doyle, 48, boiler engineer. Doyle was found guilty of helping the gang by lending them his office space where they transferred the stolen goods. He would often meet the gang's leaders for drinks in the pub. William Lincoln, a.k.a. Billy the Fish, 60. Lincoln arranged for the thieves to use his Windmill Hill office space to transfer the stolen jewellery in May last year. Carl Wood, 58. In £20,000 worth of debt, the court was told that Wood didn't have two pennies to rub together. He broke into the safe during the robbery. Uh, together with the government, and you might have seen the work we've been doing with the Prime Minister, Yes, uh, we are determined to increase the number of firearms officers. In fact, I believe over the next 24 hours I'll be able to make a significant announcement about that. You can't make uh, that announcement today for me, Sir Bernard. No, I also want to be sure of my facts, and, uh, which is what I...